The EC doll is getting ready to rumble. On Wednesday, live across the internet, this professional South Korean Go player will take on artificial intelligence program AlphaGo in the ultimate human versus machine smackdown. I said I am confident because I thought that it would be still difficult for the computer's artificial intelligence to read the human sense, such as intuition. However, what I felt from listening to the explanation about the algorithm was that AlphaGo may be able to mimic the intuition of humans to a certain degree. Go is an incredibly complex game. For example, in chess, the number of possible moves is about 20 from the average position. In Go, it's about 200. And the number of possible configurations of the board is more than the number of atoms in the universe. Lee isn't sure he'll win all five of his games against DeepMind, but perhaps he's being optimistic. AlphaGo has already wiped the floor 5-0 against the European champion last October, the first time a machine beat a professional Go player. And it's at this point the project becomes more than just a game. A number of high-profile thinkers, from Elon Musk to Stephen Hawking, are already warning of the risks to humanity from creating artificial superintelligence. The creators of AlphaGo consider the technology itself neutral, but what it's used for is up to society. And certainly at DeepMind and at Google, uh, we uh, worry about lots of these things, and we, uh, we are kind of thought leaders on the ethics uh, front of uh, you know, how these systems should be used in a way that will benefit the many and not the few, and will benefit society for the good. The winner of Wednesday's contest will take home $1 million, although it's unlikely AlphaGo yet has any subroutines capable of processing greed.